Hey guys, it's Dave, and today I'm opening the November BAM box. Now, if you don't know, the BAM box is a monthly subscription that sends you a lot of awesome collectibles, uh, signed autographed items with certificate of authenticities. So it's really a different box than a lot of stuff out there. This box is very thin. This is probably one of the thinnest boxes I've ever received from any company. Uh, but if you want your own BAM box, go to www.thebambox.com. Uh, there's a link below in the description. There's also a code you can enter. It's our code. It gives our fans a 10% off on your first month's order. So go click that link and check them out. Let's get into this. I am a little worried because it's so small. So I don't know what could be in here. The theme was adult cartoons, I believe. So let's get into it and check it out. All right. Oh, that's cool. On the inside cover, uh, there are little drawings of, uh, I see Thor, Skeletor, um, what do we got there? The Hulk, Spider-Man, Green Goblin, Jack Nicholson's Joker, uh, the Technodrome from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 80s cartoon. I see uh, Batman in the corner. That's pretty cool. I'll show you up close so you can see it. Can okay, you see that? That's actually pretty funny. It's pretty cool. I like that. But we don't get this for the box. We get it for the items inside. So let's see what we got here. Okay. So first off, every month you get a pin. And our pin this month, let me uh, open this up. The pin we have here is of Chef from South Park. All right. That's cool. I like Chef. I haven't watched South Park in ages, but that is pretty cool. Pretty nice. All right. So let's okay. See okay. So let's get into this. So first up, we have a Betty Boop, the Bam Box exclusive. Uh, it's got a certificate of authenticity from Dynamite Entertainment. Okay, let's. I don't want to open this up. It's got a nice little sticker on there. I don't really want to open it, but I want to know what. What am I looking at here? It's got okay. Well, it looks like it's a Betty Boop uh, comic. It's signed, um, signed by somebody. So there's the signature when they did the drawing. So that's that's you know copy. That's mass production. But then there's the actual autograph, same exact autograph as that one there. That's the actual one, and you get the certificate of authenticity. It's got a nice little seal here, seal here for the DE, which must be Dynamite Entertainment. I don't really want to open this, but that is pretty cool. Uh, Betty Boop. I only remember Betty Boop from the Who Framed Roger Rabbit movie, uh, but I know that like my uh, my grandparents and stuff like that were big uh, Betty Boop fans. So that's pretty uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. Next up, we have huh, it. It's like a street sign kind of thing that you hang up, and it's got a picture of Homer going all crazy. And it says "Crazy people are more fun." This kind of reminds me of the Homer. Uh, face and reaction in the Treehouse of Terror with the episode where they did the the shinning when they were doing the spoof on the shining when he's going all crazy uh, that's funny I like that you know it's my particular taste I like this I'm a huge Simpsons fan I like the artwork um, and this is something that you know when I finally do get my geek cave I could definitely put up on the door or on the back of the door or something and you know definitely a conversation starter where people are gonna go oh my god that's pretty cool where'd you get that oh I got it at the band box go check them out all right, I see some other items in here. Okay. So here we have a signed uh, picture, drawing. Uh, we have 1,293 out of 2,000. And it looks like it's Rick and Morty, which I don't know much about, with Beavis and Butthead. And I, I was a huge Beavis and Butthead fan uh, growing up in the uh, 80s and 90s and the 90s when they were on, on MTV when they were like the hottest thing ever. Uh, Beavis and Butthead were awesome. So it's like a, a mashup of Rick and Morty, which I don't know too much about. And of course, Beavis and Butthead, which is pretty good. And there's Cornholio. And a teepee for my bunghole. There you go. And there is the BAM Certificate of Authenticity. There is the signature right down there. 
And uh, there's 2,000 pieces made, and we have 1,293. That's cool. I never get one. I want to be that person that gets, like, number one. That's got to be pretty fun. Or the last one. And then next up... Holy moly. This is a BAM... BAM Box Authentic. It looks like it might be a cosplayer. Dressed as Jessica Rabbit. And... My, my... She's very buoyant. So there you go. There is a uh, Jessica Rabbit picture uh, of Jessica Rabbit. I'm not going to lie. I'm an all-American male, fully blooded. And uh, Jessica Rabbit was, when I was a kid, even though she was a cartoon character, was like, for a boy, was like, holy mackerel. And this girl fills it out pretty well. I like it a lot. Uh, just saying, that is a very uh, attractive picture right there. So that that's pretty cool. It must be a cosplayer who signed it. I don't know. I guess we'll look in the card here. We'll get a little bit more information on that. But she pulls the look off, so that's pretty good. So that's all that's in this box. Oh, and there's more drawings inside the box. I see Iron Man, Splinter, uh, Magneto. Kind of looks like drawings that like I would did when I was a kid. But they're pretty cool and you can kind of tell who each one is so that's a pretty nifty box all right so let's recap the pins uh there were uh four you could have gotten they were all south park we got chef there was also a cartman and there were two uh kenny's there was one kenny that was holding a sign saying yolo you only live once and then there was a rare one of kenny where it looks like he's dead he killed kenny then we have the homer simpson medal sign which uh I do like, I do like this. Bam box signing, okay, so it is a cosplayer, I was right. It's uh, Kristen, oh man, I don't want to butcher her last name, Kristen Lanny as Jessica Rabbit. She's had her cosplay uh, prints featured in articles across uh, Cosplay Culture Magazine and Playboy. So, it is a cosplayer, uh, pretty good work. Uh, next up, we have the... I can see all the feminist women now, like, giving me thumbs down. Pig. Uh, Bam Box exclusive, Betty Boop Volume 1, signed by cover artist Ken Hazer. I don't know, I guess that's how you say it. It looks like you could have gotten, like, a black and white uh, variant right there. Um, I actually like the color better. So, okay. Not bad. Okay, so they were two prints you could have gotten. We got the one that I'm glad we got. I'm glad we got this. Even though I don't know much at all about Rick or Morty, I am a huge Beavis and Butthead fan. So I'm glad that uh, I got this one with Beavis and Butthead. Because the other one you could could have gotten is a Bob's Burger. And I don't watch Bob's Burgers. I don't know anything about it. So I'm glad I didn't get that one. And then uh, randomly inserted celebrity photo. Formerly an instant winner. So I guess they're changing up their box a little bit with the instant winners and stuff like that. That's probably why we don't have any of those cards and stuff. You would have gotten a photo of Bender from Futurama. Uh, by the and signed by John DiMaggio, who is the voice of Bender and Jake in Adventure Time. I don't watch Adventure Time either. Okay, so that was the box. It looks like uh, Bam Box is changing it up a little bit with their instant winners and their one ups and stuff. So basically, in this box, you got two prints one of a cosplayer, one of an artist. You got a signed comic from the artist of the cover. You got a pretty cool metal sign of Homer, some nice artwork there. And you got a pin. I am glad that there wasn't a lot of uh, filler items, uh, stuff that you can't really use. I do like that they put uh, some some extra prints in it, signed. You got this comic. You got a cool little uh, metal plate here. Uh, the pins are always pretty nifty. Overall, not a bad box. Um, I liked it. I like that there wasn't a lot of filler items like they've put in past boxes, like a head in a box or... Um, a cube, a Rubik's Cube of the cube from Hellraiser. I was never a big fan of that stuff. Uh, you know, when they give you, we got once like a putty that sucks in metal. That stuff to me was just filler nonsense that I really didn't care about. Uh, what you really want the band box for are the signed um, exclusive certificate of authenticities, numbered items that you can't get anywhere else. These right now I have, I have two prints here with a, an awesome comic that I can get nice frames for when I finally have my geek cave. I can put them up on a wall. Definite conversation uh, uh, starters. Definitely uh, eyeball uh, grabbing, uh, especially when you see signatures and you see uh, numbered items. 
people are always curious about those. I do like this metal piece because this is something, you know, also you could put up on your wall or something. And it, it, it's really cool artwork. I like that they took it. It looks like from the Treehouse of Terror, the Shinning. Um, and it just says crazy people are more fun. And that's true. I'm not going to bash this box. I actually do like it. I don't think this is a bad box. I prefer boxes like this, smaller boxes, without the filler junk. I'd rather have an extra signed item than all that filler junk. So I do like this box. I am not going to complain about this at all. Uh, hopefully you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought of the BAM box from November. Let me know if you hated it, if you liked it. Let me know in the comment section below. Remember also to hit up that red subscribe button. That'll give you notifications of all of our videos. And it helps us grow. And we greatly appreciate all of your support. You can find me on Facebook. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Everyday Geek TV. Thanks, guys. Adios.